Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the EdTech Explorer. My name is Romeo, your Google Workspace for Education Certified Trainer from the Philippines. Ayan, and if it's your first time here uh, to our channel, welcome, welcome. Ayan, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll know our latest events and videos. Ayan, and of course po, meron din po kaming Facebook page call the EdTech Explorer. Ayan. So make sure to like and follow us as well ha. So you'll always be updated. Ayan. So maraming maraming salamat po in advance. Ayan. And for today's episode, after uploading all our raw files into the bin, okay, the next thing that we need to do is to place our raw files into the timeline. Okay. So that uh, we can already start uh, with the uh, editing of our final video or the expected output that we want uh, to create. So the first thing that we're going to do is to uh, drag the video, the raw video that we will be utilizing uh, for this uh, demo. And I, all you have to do is just to click on the video and drag it here into the timeline. And you will notice that once you drag it here, uh, the video one layer and the audio one layer it will be occupied all right and then once you release this you will be receiving this uh, note the message says that clip mismatch warning this clip does not match the sequences settings change the sequence to match the clips settings uh, and then uh, you have two options here change sequence settings or keep existing settings all right now if you recall in the previous video dur uh, during the setting up of the adobe premiere file you can actually uh, use the uh, the default size okay the default size of adobe premiere and uh, you can adjust it later all right or it will uh, we can utilize the the raw video that we're going to use as our uh, basis, no? as our basis of the uh, sequence settings, okay? So this means that whatever, uh, whatever size or uh, whatever size or settings of this main video that I will, that I am utilizing, the setup of our Premiere will adapt, okay? Will adapt to that uh, video size. So it will follow whatever dimension that this video has all you have to do is just to click change sequence settings and automatically if you will observe this preview of the timeline have also uh, adjusted so if for example the the screen is uh, too small if you're us using uh, a small a small screen then all you have to do is you can adjust this one here instead of using 50 percent you can click 25 percent until such time that you'll be able to see the entire size of the video so you can feel free to utilize whatever uh size of the screen here okay you can also click fit if you want to so it's up to you whichever zoom level you would like to uh utilize all right now if you recall i mentioned that if we double click this file here we get to preview it here in the source panel so as you can see this is the preview of this file so if we play this there so you can actually hear uh, and listen to the uh, sound of that uh, audio and that goes the same for this one here uh, as a video you can double click on that and you can actually preview it so as you can see you can preview the this video here in the source file now you can utilize the source file as a way for you to uh, select okay select which uh, part of the video to be placed in the timeline okay now uh, let me just show this very quickly. From here in the source uh, uh, source panel, 
you can if you place your mouse pointer here you can actually click on that and drag it here on the timeline so as you can see the same effect or the same thing will happen if you drag a video from this um, from the bin panel into the timeline same thing happens also if you place your mouse pointer here in the source panel and dragging it here in the uh, in the timeline okay so let me just uh, delete by the way to delete a video all you have to do is just to click on the file here in the timeline and you press the delete button on your keyboard now here's an interesting way to utilize the source panel when dragging files into your timeline so for example here as you have seen earlier if you place our mouse pointer here and dragging it into the timeline the entire uh, video or the entire clip will be placed into into the timeline now what if okay what if you want to place only a segment okay only a part or a portion of that video into our timeline how do we do that so in order for us to do that all you have to do is to use the mark in or the letter i on your keyboard and the mark out or the letter o in your keyboard so the mark in okay the mark in marks the beginning of the segment that you would like to select and the mark out of course marks the the last part of the segment that you are uh, selecting now in case you don't see these two buttons on your uh, on your screen all you have to do is just to click this uh, symbol the button editor you click on that and you'll be able to see uh, the other buttons that you can uh, actually add into this uh, part here and then all you have to do is just to drag it and click OK alright so to continue so for example uh, you can use this uh, you can use this uh, key okay to scrub your timeline so for example I want to uh, select this portion here and then from there I'll just click mark in as you have seen as you can see this part is already uh, selected okay once you see this color it means that this part or this segment is already uh, selected and then you can play it all right there so for example this is the part where you want yeah, uh, this is the last part that you want to be uh, selected all you have to do is just to click the mark out button or the letter O on your keyboard so click on that then you will be able to see that this part here has been uh, selected if you want to zoom a bit you can use this button here click on that and do not release and drag it towards to the uh, left so that you can zoom in into the timeline okay so that's how you can utilize also this uh, button now if I will place my mouse pointer here and drag it on the on the timeline you will notice that uh, it's no longer the entire video that will be uploaded here it's already a portion of that uh, clip okay so that's how we can uh, select a portion of the video using the uh, source uh, panel of our Adobe Premiere now another way to utilize this is by using these buttons here drag video only and drag audio only so based on the names it does what it uh, says no so if you only want uh, the video okay of this uh, particular file all you have to do is just to place this bot this uh, mouse pointer here on the drag video only button click on that do not release and drag it on the timeline okay so as you can see only the video of this clip was dragged into the uh, timeline and that goes the same for if you only click the drag audio only click on that and place it in the timeline then automatically it will be placed here under the audio uh, layer so that's how we can uh, utilize the mark in and mark out of the uh, source uh, panel 
And of course, that's how we can upload or drag uh, our files into the timeline. Same way for image files into the timeline, okay? And the audio file into the timeline. So same, uh, same process, all right? So that's how we drag files into the timeline. And if you find this video useful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the EdTech Expert. So maraming salamat po. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!